Hi everyone, I want to introduce you my new program, MyFair Controller. With this program, you can make all operation of MyFair Classic 1K cars. Uh, you don't need expensive readers, only Arduino Uno and RC522 module is enough for you. You can easily upload embed code to your uh, Arduino. You choose the um, serial port and push this button as you see it's blinking it means uploading embed code and it's done now let's connect our arduino uno and let's choose our key and try to read one of the sector let's push read button as you see uh, sorry as you see it's read uh, because it's um, empty if you if we write anything here I read I write my name and choose the Turkish encoding because I use our own characters okay and i push the right button as you see right successful as clear and choose our key again and read as you see uh, the data has been written uh, there are another options uh, you can operate all sector of my fair card uh, as you know, there are 16 uh, sector on my fair card, and you can uh, see all of the data here. Uh, green means authenticate successful, and red means it didn't authenticate because this sector uh, key is different. Uh, actually, you can easily write. Uh, on the my fair card less let's check uh, I push right all button and okay let's check out It written successfully. Also, I forgot you can read UID of the My Fair card here. It's decimal format. If you change the hex mode, you'll see the hex format of your unique ID. And I want to show you key change option. Actually, I will make another tutorial for this, but you can change your cards. Uh, key with this option actually this is uh, very advanced uh, because you can um, create uh, access bits as you see you, if you choose if you change the option of here access bits recalculate automatically uh, the default case is transport configuration it's uh, available on block 0, 1, 2. And real sector is a little different. This is the uh, default case of it. The default access bit is like this. All the MyFair cards has these access bits. If you want to change, you have to be careful. Uh, just I want to change the key for demonstration. I change uh, key A. This is the first six bit of our trailer sector. Not bit, sorry, six byte. And this is the key B. Uh, this is the last six byte of our trailer sector. We have to authenticate current sector with current key. Uh, you can choose the sector here i choose sector 8 
I push the button, change sector, and key change successful. Let's check if you want if I want to read this sector number with default key. Authentication error. Why? Because we change the key. I choose the new key and re-authenticate it. And as you see, read successful. It means we have changed the key of the sector eight. Okay. Uh, you can make increment and decrement operation, uh, but this uh, you have to change uh, blocks to value blocks. Okay, let's uh, change sector seven. I choose this line value block and this. And this, I don't change the trailer sector, it's default. And key is like this I push change sector and key change successful. Let's uh, open increment and decrement option, and we have to choose our new sector, sector 7. Okay, our key is A key is this, and I want to change it to B key type. I push get value, and as you see, some data is here. I want to show you this. I want to increment a hundred, and it says increment successful, and I push get value. As you see, it's a hundred. I want to increment uh, a thousand. Okay, sorry. And push the increment button. It says increment successful and push get value. As you see, the data has incremented a uh, hundred. We can make the decrement operation too. I push the decrement and it says the decrement successful. I push get value. As you see, it's 100 now. Uh, if we decrement again, decrement successful and get value, it's negative now. You can make uh, increment and decrement operations like this. I want to show you the last option, which is uh, UID change. UID change is actually you have to know my fair cards unique ID can't changeable because default factory settings permitted to, to change uh, unique ID of my fair cards, but some Chinese cards like this. Uh, you can change the unique ID of it. Okay, I want to show it. This is uh, I will copy to. Okay, now this card is I want to copy to this. First, I want to read this card UID, and it is like this. Let's see what is this card UID. It is like this. Okay. Now I put the again and push copy button and try change to UID to this card. Oh. UID copy error, it says, let's try again. Oh, apology, I want to uh, tell you, you have to select block, uh, actually, you have to select sector zero key here. Okay, this is very important because unique ID is at uh, first blocks. Okay, uh, actually, sector zero, block zero. Because of it, you have to authenticate this sector 
okay if you want to change this card uid we have to authenticate current key of sector zero i push try to change uid and again and uid copy successful okay i want to just read another uh card another card and i see this card again as you see it's changed with this card okay but this is important your card must be key changeable uh, if it's not you can't change the uh, unique id of my pair card we will have another tutorials this is just the demonstration of my new program uh, please check the below uh, description uh, you will have your link there you can easily download the program and if you have arduino uno and rc522 module with default spi connection uh, you can easily use this program goodbye